Oh yeah, look at this. This happened like literally today. <laughs> this is what you call an El Bozo. Uh, these are uh, these are One Piece leakers. So you know, you you might want to say goodbye to to at least some scans, I guess. I don't know, cause I try to avoid all of this. Uh, but I know Sandman has has a lot of good sources. Uh, so this happened today. <laughs> as far as I understand, uh, leaks should uh, should no longer be a thing, or at least early leaks. I don't know how this affects anything. I saw this, I just got a good laugh out of it. Also, I guess this just pushes the scans back. Okay. Yeah, I've got no idea how they work. Uh, I read I read the scans when they came out like way way back, but not anymore. It's just a, a lot easier for me to read it on Sundays, always. Just release to the press the Shonen Jump and other uh, items seized from the leakers. Taking a closer look, we can see that watermark. What is that watermark? I've got no idea what I'm looking for. Does this ring a bell for anyone? OP scans prioritizes speed over accuracy? Oh. Okay. Yeah, like... I don't understand how the hell they keep getting pushed earlier and earlier. Right? Because I get that it's going to happen regardless because of, like, physical printing. But I think when I started reading the scans, this was like a couple of years back now, right? I think they came out like Thursdays, Fridays. Because I remember someone saying like, oh, I read the officials just because they come out like two days later. And I was like, oh, but now I, I see people saying that they come out like Tuesdays. How does that even happen? <laughs> yeah, so I guess it's just a weird arms race. Okay. So I guess F's to them. F's to them. This is why you don't get greedy, folks. This is why you never get, get greedy. Is the downfall of every... Like, just, just watch TV shows and you'll realize what you should never do uh, when you're doing shady things. Yeah, I think, um, like, an easy way to catch, catch stuff like that out is just to, like, make a poison pill. You know? That's, like, the, the way I would go about all of these things. It's very, very easy to just A-B test your way out of these things. Or to just make, like, a honeypot and bait people in. Like, these leakers especially. It's easy to, like, tell where it comes from in that way. I really hope, like, it's, it's never gonna happen, right? Because, um, Japan is always gonna be big on physical releases. It'd be so cool if we could just, like, move to a single release time. I think it'd be great. It's the same argument I always use with, like, weekly shows versus binge releases. Uh, it just, like, concentrates people talking about it. It's just a lot more exciting. Everyone's on the same page. It's just cooler to talk about instead of like oh did you read the chapter yes i read it three days ago but it's not even out yes it is it's it's out on this leaker website you know i don't like it i don't like it someone's getting them early i'd be very interested to know where um it could it could have literally been like a poison pill it literally could have been that it's like they they purposely set them up just to see like who who takes the bait you know uh pew just said it was stored owners who got uh, stock early well, that's the dumbest thing ever. Why would you ever do that? Why would you leak stuff from where you work? That's like the easiest way to track you ever. Oh my god. That is extremely dumb. If that is true, they they might be the worst criminals of all time. <laughs> Imagine, I've said this before. If I, if I ever sign an NDA, if I ever do any of these things that are not meant to be public, you're literally not finding out anything about anything ever. Because I, I just think of myself, like, if I... Because I don't trust people. For exactly for this reason. It's like, imagine sending your product to a store, and the store leaks it. Like, there's nothing you could even do. There's no way to ensure that it doesn't get leaked at that point. So, the reason why I would never talk about anything is because I would expect someone to try to come after me. So, I would just ensure that I never get caught because I never talk about it. It's so dumb, though. Leaking it from the store. It's not in my house, not realizing every half-decent company has a way to check exactly who was active on their system and when. Exactly, right? It's not even system, too. It's like, if it's if it's a physical distributor sending it out to stores, imagine just making a small, like a, like a small alteration to a single batch and sending it out to certain stores and just watching which version leaks. It's like the easiest way to catch the leakers of all time. People really don't expect watermarks to appear. We live in 2024. I almost said 2023. 2024. Oh my god. That's so funny. <laughs> I wonder like what the what the cost benefit analysis of that is. 
I've always wondered about these things, like these early leaks, early teasers, all that. I've always wondered, like, how much the publisher might actually benefit from stuff like that, right? In the same way that, like, World of Warcraft, for example, they allow data mining. Um, and data mining is basically free advertising, right? People get riled up themselves, and Blizzard basically does zero marketing. Like, if you really look at Blizzard's marketing, they have very, very little. And I always think about, like, how much it damages them and how much it actually benefits them. I assume with something like this, because there's actual revenue at play, I don't know, it'd be it'd, it'd be very hard to say. Uh, why do you wait for the official release? Is it from an ethical standpoint? Um, it is kind of just me, you know, me, you know, I, I say the words, everyone should read the official, therefore, I do the thing that I say. You know, it's, it, that's number one. Number two, it's it's a very selfish perspective of it just being consistent. It is much easier for me to like make make plans that it's going to be every Sunday. Uh, there have been exceptions where it's like a Monday or Friday, but like most of the time, I know that like Sundays are going to be booked, right? And I don't need to worry about the chapter coming out Tuesday at 3 a.m. And I'm going to be here reading the chapter, you know, it's just easier for me. But also, yes, it is a... Uh, I say we should all read the officials because it'd be more exciting. Therefore, I read the officials. Uh, it's also that. It'd be very goofy if I'm like, everyone should read the officials and then I just keep reading the scads. <laughs> That'd be funny. Also, I think it's a bit weird to like publicize leaks. It's a very odd situation in the One Piece because I feel like publicizing leaks in a lot of other mediums is very dangerous. You're kind of playing with fire at that point. You know, because technically it's it's like pre-release stuff. With One Piece, it's like so normalized. It's wild. Absolutely wild. I read both. I do sometimes read the scans. Sometimes when people say that there's like a, like a different translation, I do go and read the scans later. Because basically what it is, is the scans are almost always like a direct translation, right? Whereas the, the, the officials usually have the context of what like Oda is actually saying. So... That's like one thing I try to keep in mind. That sometimes like the direct translations might be easier to grasp because they're literal. But because Jap uh, Japanese is like such a context heavy language, uh, it can sometimes like create very weird situations. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of people are doing it from like a purely business perspective. If you want to work with like One Piece on an official capacity, um, obviously I don't think you'd want to publicize leaks. But at the same time, I feel like there's, um, I think there's a lot more to gain by reading the scans. I think there is like a first mover advantage in that sense. I think if you're if you're the first to jump on on the on the chapters as soon as they come out, I think you can capitalize on that. So I don't know. It's like another cost benefit analysis thing. Do you hope to work with them in an official capacity, and you just kind of don't want to mess with the scans, or maybe maybe I don't know. I try not to think about it that much. It's just easier for me, so that's what I do. Yeah, it's it's like a positive feedback loop too, you know. It's like the YouTubers keep publicizing the earlier releases, and then people on Twitter get into camps of like which which one releases faster. It's insane. Because upon all his meeting more often than uh, than Stephen Paul, um, I I don't know. I honestly don't know enough to like argue about that either way. I would imagine that for very specific names, they do have Oda's oversight, like what they're actually supposed to be, in general terms. Whereas the direct translations will probably never have that, you know. <laughs> 